Well, I'll say one thing. It's never a good sight when you see your tractor leaning this much when you come back from lunch. <sighs> so I guess one positive is we're doing hay in November, which is pretty good. That means the weather has been cooperating. But then you have things like this happen. So we have a flat. We're going to try and air it back up. Hopefully it holds. I don't know where we got it from. I have not figured that out yet. This tire is not in bad shape either. So no telling what we drove over. Uh, I'm not too sure. But we'll have to get this aired up. Hopefully it holds. We'll see. But why we get this fixed, make sure you guys check out HudsonsPlayground.com for our awesome merch. It's for a limited time only. You probably got about a week left and it is gone forever. So go check it out. Take a look. I would really appreciate it. It would help us pay for this tire probably. Um, so thank you for that. So go check it out. HudsonsPlayground.com. We got a lot going on today. So let's get started. Here comes the savior. He's got the air compressor on the back of the truck. So we're going to try and get this aired up like I said. And then I got a surprise that we're going to try and do on Hudson's little tractor. I got a little trailer that I'm going to try and put on. Hopefully it works. We'll see. But let's try and get this bad boy aired up first. All right, so as you can imagine, that tire is Dunzo's. So we're gonna take it back up to the shop, probably take it off, take it to a tire company, see if they can repair it. If not, I'll have to get a new one. So uh, we're gonna load it back up, drive it up to the farm. Hopefully it holds enough air to get up there because that stuff is coming out quick. Um, let's go up to the farm though. While they do that, uh, we'll get started on the new trailer for Hudson's tractor and some things like that. So let's go check it out. So here's what we got. I have this trailer here that we've used previously. Um, we had a little spray rig for the back of it. Um, what I'm gonna do now though, because I'm going to make a way to probably cut these off, cut this off. I'm going to make a way to mount this seat on the back. So while one of the kids is driving their tractor, the other one can ride on the back. I think that will be fun. that will be something different. They'll really enjoy that. So I'm going to try and find a way to do that. I think we said, like I said though, cut these off. we got to make sure we put the seat where all the weight will be on the wheels or maybe even slightly behind the wheels. Because if we do it too far in front, it will put all the weight on the back of the tractor and it's gonna do a wheelie. We already have problems with the tractors doing wheelies. So it's really important that we put the seat in the correct spot. Um, so let's cut these off and let's get started. I've been enjoying uh, showing y'all all the projects and the work that goes into doing all the stuff we do for Hudson's Playground. And it seems like y'all also enjoy it. So we got tons more head. I got tons of plans for this channel. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. Still gonna do farming stuff, uh, but you get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I think a lot of y'all enjoy as I get the plasma cutter hooked up to this trailer. Um, we're going to cut those off here. Oh, the tractor's on its way too. Looks like the tires are getting a little low, but it looks like they made it. So that's good. Um, so also, like I said, the, we're going to do the mower. I think we're going to do it. Or I'm going to try to do it. Um, so that'll probably be in a video or two. I'm getting some stuff drawn out and uh, going to make sure it's going to do it safe. I've been looking on the internet for like some good mowers that I can chop up and do in a good way, but um, that's coming soon. So just be on the lookout for it. Um, but today we got this. Most of y'all could probably do this at home too. Um, it's, it's not hard to do. Uh, I already had this trailer already made though, so you won't get to see the trailer part being made, but it really wasn't too bad. All right, so we got all those beans that were on here cut off with the plasma cutter. I know most of y'all don't have that, but that's what I used to cut this off. Now I'm just going to use a simple little grinder to grind this down to get it smooth and then we're going to drill those holes for that seat and uh, should be done pretty soon actually. So like I was saying, we want to get it as close to the back as we can. So it has two spots here. So I'm going to drill the first hole right here towards the very, very back. And then we've got two or three quarters up. I'll have to measure it, but it'll be about right here. And uh, that's where we'll put it in. So let's get it marked out, drill these holes, and we're about done. And once I put the seat on, I want to put some foot rests here for the kids um, so they can hold on. And then I'm excited to try it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so hear me out. I was going to drill the holes. Instead, I'm going to use the plasma cutter, the lazy way, I know. But right there, we do have like a drill press right here. Um, but since this trailer is already kind of built and it's really funky, I don't want to use it on here because that's not safe because if drill bit happens to get caught, in the metal, it'll start spinning that trailer. So I don't want that to happen. Um, we do have a hand drill. 
but I still feel like the safest way is actually probably the plasma cutter. So we're gonna do that, shoot some holes with the plasma cutter and be done with it. Um, Cause the hole doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna put some washers and stuff whenever we tie it up. So it, it'll be fine. Um, so let's get these holes drilled or let's get the holes cut, I guess. Not, not really drilled, so. That's basically as good as if I was to drill the holes anyways. And I guarantee you, I have not done this, you gotta trust me. I have not done this, but I bet it fits perfect. Did I lie? I did not lie, look at that. Perfect, exactly how it's supposed to go. So now let's get uh, the nuts on it, let's get the washers on it. I don't want any wibble wobbles, I don't want it to break. Um, but it looks like all the weight is gonna be towards the back of the trailer. Now I just gotta get some spots uh, for their foot, little foot rest so their feet don't dangle. They have something to kind of press against. Should probably maybe even make something for them to hold on to with their hands. But with their feet, that should be good enough. So if any of your kids are like mine, they always try and ride at the back of those little rinky-dink trailers that come with the tractors. And it never works, it always falls apart, it breaks. So I think this is a great alternative. I think it came out pretty good. Okay, so with well, as almost everything we do, it's really just make it work, use scrap. Don't, don't go and get all this expensive stuff. Kids don't care. This is just a little piece of scrap that I found. It's junk, it was in the trash pile, but guess what? It'll make the perfect footrest. So we're gonna put it, something like that. I'll weld it on there, somewhere for them to place their feet as the tractor's driving, and it'll be perfectly fine. So let's just weld this thing on there, paint everything green, make it look nice, and we're done, just like that. Okay, so there you have it. It is finished, just like so. I think it'll work great. Unfortunately, due to the time change, which I really don't like, it's gonna be dark. I won't be able to do this today. So you'll have to stick around for the next Hudson's Playground video, which will feature this probably next week. So it'll be next week, it's not too bad. Um, so we'll be playing with this next week. I'm excited for it. I know the kids are gonna love it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a blast. Forgot if I showed you or not, but there's a little foot pedal I'll put on. They could probably use that foot pedal and then grab onto this if they really wanted to. But I think how it is, it should be okay. So excited to use that. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you have not, I would appreciate it. And check out our merch. You got about a week or so left. So uh, go check it out, hudsonsplaygon.com. And thank you for watching. Bye.